Around 200 million years ago, the world began to change. What was once a dry, desert-like landmass began to bloom and flourish as it became a warm, humid paradise. Rain fell regularly over lush forests that were teeming with thousands of species of beautiful plants. Tropical breezes rolled across the grassy savannas and weaved through the seas of ferns and conifers. Sounds pretty magical, right? Well, perhaps I should mention that this took place during the Jurassic period. And just in case you missed the 1993 blockbuster Jurassic Park, I'll let you in on a little secret. That's when dinosaurs were roaming the Earth. The world has long had a fascination with dinosaurs. As a young child, I fondly remember trips to museums where I would beg my parents for every dino-stuffed animal and model they had in the gift shop. Now that I'm older and I can make the decision to buy stuffed animals on my own, I don't buy any more stuffed dinosaurs. I go for something bigger, better, and more authentic. I can buy the fossils of those fascinating creatures that walked across the landscape all those millions of years ago. That being said, dinos don't come cheap. If they did, well, pretty much everyone would have T-Rexes standing around in their living room. But how expensive are they, exactly? Well, put on your cargo pants and get out your little brush, because today we're going to take a look at the most expensive fossils ever sold. We'll discuss what creatures they belong to, and even talk about the lawsuits that have been fought over dinos bones that are worth millions. Battling Allosaurus and Stegosaurus, $2.75 million. In 2007, a team from Dinosauria International toiled away in the foothills of Wyoming, excavating in hopes of finding some good old dinosaur bones. And my, did they find some. First, they discovered what appeared to be the femur of a large, possibly carnivorous dinosaur. But as they kept digging, their excitement turned to shock and wonder. They uncovered a new nearly perfectly preserved Allosaurus in the 155 million year old rock. And as if that find wasn't exciting enough for them, there was even more in store. Underneath the Allosaurus was none other than a Stegosaurus. For decades, scientists had speculated that Allosauruses and Stegosauruses had violently fought during the Jurassic period. These two fossils proved that fact, because the dinosaurs had died locked in combat with one another, and with the mouth of the Allosaurus nearly clasped around the Stegosaurus's humerus. Since they had died together, it can only make sense to sell these two together. So in June of 2011, they were sold to a museum for $2.75 million. All I can say is, it's a good thing the museum bought them. It'd be hard to have a home big enough to house these two massive dinos. Dracula, as the Allosaurus has been affectionately dubbed, is a 20-foot-long beast made of bones. And Fantasia, the Stegosaurus, measures 18 feet in length and is over eight feet tall. The trio of Diplodocus. But the battling Allosaurus and Stegosaurus weren't the only dinosaurs Dinosauria International has unearthed in Wyoming. Between 2007 and 2010, Dinosauria International made some incredible discoveries in a quarry in Ten Sleep, Wyoming. Three incredible discoveries to be exact. In their careful excavation, they unearthed an adult male, an adult female, and a juvenile Diplodocus who they dubbed Prince, Apollonia, and Twinkie. And that's what happens when you let paleontologists name dinosaurs. They could have been Mo, Larry, and Curly. Although perhaps I may be showing my age a little with that suggestion. Diplodocus were herbivores present in the late Jurassic period. But being a herbivore doesn't mean they weren't intimidating. Diplodocus were much like Brachiosaurus, with long necks that allowed them to reach the soft leaves on trees, and large feet that could absolutely crush anything in their way. Apollonia is 24 meters long, which is around 78 feet, while Prince is even larger at 27 meters, or 88 feet. For reference, that's nearly the length of two school buses. The little Diplodocus, aptly named Twinkie, is a baby at 12 meters long, though I suppose I'd hardly call 39 feet long small. When they were discovered, the dinosaurs were about 80% complete, which is an incredible feat after being buried in the earth for over 100 million 
years. Scientists believe the group of three were possibly a family, or perhaps just members of the same herd. And since I'm a bit of a sap, I think it's rather bittersweet to imagine them as a family, meeting their unfortunate end together. The Diplodocus trio sold for around $8 million to the Natural History Museum of Singapore, and though their arrival was exciting, it wasn't without challenges. The dinosaurs had to be carefully packed and ferried across the ocean. It took two weeks with 12-hour days and a 30-person staff made up of museum experts and movers to put the trio back together again. Sue the T-Rex. When you think of dinosaurs, chances are you think of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's the beast of a dinosaur that chases down jeeps and munches on lawyers in Jurassic Park. It's the favorite toy of children around the world, and it's the star of many, many memes, making fun of its inability to clap. So, it may come as no surprise that the world's most expensive fossil was a T-Rex fossil that sold for $8.36 million. Although, it did take a long time for the dinosaur to actually go to sale. Sue, as the T-Rex had been affectionately dubbed, was discovered in 1990 outside of Faith, South Dakota, on a ranch within the Cheyenne River Sioux Reservation. Sue Hendrickson, who led the dig with a man named Peter Larson, happened to spot what looked like a vertebrae sticking out of a bluff. A lengthy excavation began, which took 17 days and a team of six individuals to complete. And in the end, the discovery became one of the most well-known, drama-filled, and educational discoveries in the history of paleontology. Sue was discovered to have lived a lengthy 28 years. And how did scientists know this exactly? Surprisingly, dinosaurs grow rings within their bones that indicate how old they are, much like trees do. In T-Rex years, 28 made Sue a pretty old lady. Her bones allowed scientists to discover that T-Rexes reach their full size at 19 years old, and even go through adolescent growth spurts, much like humans do. Sue is a startling 40 feet long and 13 feet tall at the hip, making her the largest T-Rex ever discovered, though there have only been about 30 skeletons found. After the dig, Sue was the star of a 10-year-long custody battle. Lawson paid the owner of the ranch, Maurice Williams, $5,000 for the right to excavate. Sue was transferred to a facility to be cleaned up, but then people started to realize that she was worth a pretty chunk of change. The U.S. government stepped in, arguing that they had never given permission for the fossil to be taken from federal lands. A court case began, which ended with Sue being declared the property of the Bureau of Indian Affairs and of Maurice Williams. The BIA then gave Williams the right to sell the fossil, and my, was it an exciting sale. Sue went on auction in 1997 in a fierce battle between eight different buyers. The eventual winner was Chicago's Field Museum of Natural History, who was funded by McDonald's, Walt Disney Records, and the California State University System. After that $8.36 million sale, Sue was shipped off to the museum, where she remains to this very day. The new dinosaur. As of now, Sue is the most expensive fossil of all time. However, records are meant to be broken, and they may be very soon. Sue isn't alone in the world. Stan, a 67 million year old fellow T-Rex, was uncovered and is set to go on auction. The dinosaur was discovered back in 1987, but wasn't excavated until 1992. And wouldn't you know, Peter Larson, who helped dig up Sue, was the leader of the team who excavated Stan. Stan is 40 feet long and 13 feet high, the exact same size as Sue. However, Stan has something that Sue doesn't. Quite a few more bones. This dinosaur has the most complete skull out of any T-Rex that has ever been found, with a set of 58 teeth. Currently, Stan is on display at New York's Rockefeller showroom, where Christie's has chosen to show it until the big day. So, there you have it, the most expensive fossils ever found. What's your favorite dinosaur? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and maybe turn on post notifications. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip-pip-doodly-doo.